some movies are even better when you're under the influence of a little something something. Wish we had some more weed. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies to watch while high. I am executively three inches high. For this list, we're choosing films that are even better viewing experiences when you're high, because they're overly trippy, hilarious, or just plain fun. <laughs> We're not necessarily choosing stoner comedies specifically, since they would seem too obvious, and we already have a list for that. Instead, we're focusing more on films that aren't meant to be watched while you've used certain substances. Not that we condone that kind of thing. Please, how can I make you trust me? Number 10, Heavy Metal. Aren't we fierce? Guards castrate him. While this movie may be animated, it is certainly not for children. This sci-fi flick serves as an animated anthology of different fantastical stories, complete with graphic violence and a great deal of sexuality. But I don't understand. We laugh together, care for each other, we have highly proficient sex. Becoming a cult attraction through midnight showings, we have no doubt that the audience members had a little help from some chemicals to get through heavy metal, as the film is rife with stylish animation and some mind-boggling scenarios. While it is artistic on its own merits, being high while viewing it will undoubtedly increase the pleasure tenfold, as the scenarios become only that much more fantastical and scary. Number 9. Pineapple Express What's it called? Pineapple Express. Hey, we didn't say there would be no stoner comedies on this list. And this one definitely deserves its spot. You have the easiest job on earth. You do smoke weed all day. <laughs> That's true. A film about two potheads played by Seth Rogen and James Franco, as they go on the run from a drug dealer, Pineapple Express is rife with hilarious circumstances and even some intense action sequences. Oh shit! Oh shit! Go, 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 go! What makes viewing this movie better while high are the interactions between the two co-stars as they get themselves into progressively worse situations. Watch it in three seconds, exactly. One, two. Did it work? On three! I did it on three. On one, two, three, go. Meanwhile, the action sequences differentiate it from other stoner comedies, and they are a welcome addition to an already amazing movie-going experience. Hey, Dale. We're gonna have to kill him, because I don't think I'm capable of murder. Oh, I don't think I am either. Number 8. Labyrinth Do you know where the door to the labyrinth is? This film, directed by Jim Henson, who was also behind The Dark Crystal, <laughs> stars David Bowie in the lead role. And that's about all you need to know. Forget about the baby. I can't. The plot revolves around a teenager who has to rescue her brother from an otherworldly maze. However, most of the supporting characters playing alongside Bowie are puppets, which adds a freaky and surreal tone to the film. No. Okay, let's handle this thing logically. Just one look at Jareth and the Creature Shop characters, and you know that you will be in for a trippy time. No, thank you, but I have to solve this labyrinth. We can only imagine what fans of this movie were smoking. What's said is said. Number 7. Big Trouble in Little China Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. This 1986 action film sees Kurt Russell helping his friend rescue his fiance from bandits in Chinatown. I feel pretty good. <laughs> and I'm not, uh, not scared at all. I just feel kind of, feel kind of invincible. It sounds all well and good until they delve underground and experience a mysterious world filled with magic and sorcery. <laughs> Experiencing this movie high would be like you're actually visiting another world with the characters, one in which everything goes from normal to surreal and becomes very confusing and very trippy at the same time. Oh my god, no, please, what is that? Don't tell me. Receiving mixed reviews, the action flick, like many others on this list, has since gained a strong cult following. <laughs> Number 6, The Matrix. I know Kung Fu. Show me. When released in 1999, 
this movie revolutionized Hollywood with its stylistic direction and action scenes. Set in a world where machines use humans as battery power, the freed humans are able to manipulate the Matrix and defy the laws of reality leading to some intense and fantastical sequences, including ones in which people are able to dodge bullets and run on walls. Watching this high would not only make you appreciate those action sequences so much more, but as the nature of the plot itself leads to some very interesting discussions about life, meaning, and philosophy, you'd probably be even more inclined to explore these big questions. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Number 5. Alice in Wonderland Well, my name is Alice, and I'm following a white rabbit, so... Oh, well, you can't go yet. This 1951 Disney film is a classic among drug users, as the animated adventure follows heroine Alice as she falls down a rabbit hole and enters another world. If I were looking for a white rabbit, I'd ask the Mad Hatter. Filled with some very trippy moments courtesy of the fantastical nature of the story and its characters. The fantasy comedy is likely very popular among LSD users especially, as it's bound to provide an experience like no other. While most Disney films could be fun to watch high, this one simply towers above the rest, and it's easy to see why. Well, it's exactly. Exactly. It's precisely this. Number 4. Team America World Police no! In this Matt Stone and Trey Parker movie, an American anti-terrorism unit tries to protect the world from Kim Jong-il's terrorism plot. Congratulations, Team America! You have stopped nothing. Oh, and the entire movie is played out with puppets. Super marionettes, to be exact. I'm so... Lonely, so lonely. What makes this satirical action comedy amazing while high is a combination of the wacky humor, the biting satire, and the act of watching puppets use rocket launchers, have sex, and just generally move around awkwardly. <laughs> it's a hilarious movie, made even more hilarious by certain substances and by watching the situations these marionettes get into. Terrorize this. Number three, dazed and confused. You got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> this coming of age comedy, starring now big name actors, revolves around a group of high school students on the last day of school. All right, all right, all right. Like Pineapple Express, what makes this movie better high is simply that you can be high with the characters, as they smoke with hilarious and often touching results. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Even just seeing these famous actors during their younger days may be enough to trip you out. George Totweedy. Yeah. Absolutely George Totweedy. Are you kidding me, man? He grew fields of that stuff, yeah. man. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. While not necessarily made for stoners, Dazed and Confused is a high school movie about smoking weed. And really, who doesn't remember those days? That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> Number two, The Big Lebowski. Nobody calls me Lebowski. You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude, man. This Coen Brothers classic about a stoner who gets caught up in a criminal underworld after asking for compensation for his peed on rug is also a classic in stoner culture. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? The dude is such a classic stoner character. So of course, being high will make you love and appreciate him that much more. <sighs> My career's slowed down a little lately. What do you do for the recreation? Oh, the usual. Bowl, uh, drive around. The funny scenes also become even more hilarious, and the drugged out sequence adds just the right amount of trippy alongside the hilarity to make this crime comedy a great time. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition is in. Before we light up our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. We had two bags of grass. 
75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers. <laughs> I do the best I can. I hope I don't kick the bucket before I finish. All of my most secret inventions are cooking and simmering in here. Old Slugworth would give his false teeth to get inside for just five minutes. Well, I wonder why you hung up. Is there supposed to be someone else there besides your wife there to answer? Number one, 2001, A Space Odyssey. What better movie to watch high than Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi masterpiece? When humanity finds an artificial object in space, they set out on a quest to see what it is. As Kubrick is a master of visual storytelling, this film is a real treat to watch when stoned simply due to its vibrant and surreal visuals. The space setting definitely helps add to the surreal aspect, and the questions 2001 leaves you with will have you pondering what it all means for a long time. Well, I'm sure you're right, Hal. Even after the high wears off. Do you agree with our list? Are you nuts? It's okay, Charlie. I got an angle. What movies do you think are the best when viewed high? I know it would have been good. For more trippy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You people sit tight, hold the fort, and keep the home fires burning. And if we're not back by dawn, call the president. Mm -hmm.